god, my camera doesn't even recognise this as a face. Hello and welcome to Spinster's Library. I am too short for this video. This is what it looks like if I just stand up. I want to show you my bookcase, sis. My bookcases. This is my living room. <laughs> it is finally, I guess, finished. At some point I'm going to tidy up the other half of the room and actually show you all of it. But for now, <laughs> books. The books that have been in boxes for pretty much exactly two years now finally have a home. We'll start with the most important part of the bookshelf and that is Minerva. Minerva, what do you want to show the lovely people of YouTube? Your mouse! You want to show them your mouse? Yes, it is a very good mouse, isn't it Minerva? She clearly doesn't like it that much. Let's start with showing you the shelves themselves. So for a very long time, pretty much since moving into this house, I have wanted a shelf that matched the aesthetics of this middle one. This middle shelf, I love. It's brass. I like the rounded top. And I really wanted a wooden or wicker bookshelf that kind of matched that rounded shape well i didn't find one so after years of dithering of looking at um, secondhand listings and the local charity shop i could not find a shelf that i liked so i just bought two fairly cheap new ones and here they are um and then i decided to place them around the brass shelf and I enjoy the symmetry. <laughs> I know a lot of people probably don't like the way that this is set up, but I'm into it. I am pretty certain that these are not all of my books. I think some are still at my in-laws house in England, but these are the books that I've got here and they are a mix of books that they uh, sent us and also books that my parents still had at their place, childhood books that my mom thankfully kept in the box somewhere and then offloaded as soon as I was back in the country. The way I have set this up is alphabetically by author surname, which I realize is not the most aesthetic way to set up your bookcase, but it is the way that my brain likes. And I have also separated the shelf into two sections, my TBR and the books that I have read. So if we look at the top shelf here, it starts with my TBR and the TBR finishes here. It finishes with this Sarah Waters book and then the list of books that I've read, the list, the part of the shelf of books that I've read starts with this book over here. So I have about two and a half shelves of unread books and about five and a half shelves of red books. I'm happy enough with that ratio. I like having all of the books that I haven't read in one corner so that I know where to go to for my next read. Which by the way, I am on the lookout for a next read. So if there's anything there that you uh, think I really, really, really should get to, do let me know. Some of the books, as you've noticed, I have uh, put uh, this way around and that's just because they are pretty and I want to show them off. The, there's no particular reasoning behind that other than uh, I have the space to do so and so I decided to do that. One thing that bothers me and that I'm sure bothers you if you read both German and English books is that German and English... Uh, oh God, what do you call that? Spines! That's what the word is. German and English spines are oriented in a different way. So these German books here, you can see, are written that way, bottom to top. And then the English books are written top to bottom. So I have the choice. If I want them both to go the same way, then I have to flip one of these books upside down, which my sense of order doesn't like. Since moving to Germany, I have bought very few books and that is for three reasons. One is I didn't have a bookshelf, so I didn't want to buy books and then I have to put them in boxes or on top of boxes or just pile them up in the way. 
The second reason is that I haven't been reading a lot and that is a just now shifting, changing. So I'm reading more. I'm getting my mojo back. God, I hate that I said that. Just forget I said that. I'm getting my <laughs> enthusiasm <laughs> for stories back and I have been reading a lot. In particular though, I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks. They're less of a commitment. I can listen to an audiobook and do something else. In particular, I've been listening a lot while knitting and that is just what's been happening. I might make a separate video about that. I might not, we'll see. The third reason why I haven't been buying uh, books is because there are a few book buying options here and when I think about the books that I have acquired recently, most of them I have in fact acquired in England on a, a few trips that I've taken there in the past year. Book buying is not a problem I have in the same way that a lot of book lovers do. Um, however, I do really want to make a, a, an effort to uh, read some of the books of my TBR and having it there just out of shot because I just cannot get this camera angle to work. Having it there just out of shot means that I have a physical reminder of the bookshelf, but it's also an availability issue. I'm more likely to pick up a book if I see it right there. So I might look at that and go, oh, interesting. Tomb of Sand. That sounds fascinating. Oh, that's a chunky book. I'll look at the cover. I'll go, oh, this is one of the books that my lovely friend Awona sent me, um, which also I will make a video about because she just, just because uh, sent me a collection of absolutely gorgeous books, both classics and modern. This is one of them. Look at how beautiful. Uh, this is a book so new that I would not normally ever buy it because I so rarely buy new books. I mean, this is like fresh off the presses, winner of the International Booker Prize, like literally this year. When have I ever read a book that's won a prize literally this year? So having something visually available like that makes me want to read it. So we've got some modern classics here. We've got some Terry Pratchett novels here, which is uh, one of the authors that I'm sort of very slowly making my way through. Here we've got some John Wyndham books, another author I'm making my way through slowly. We've got some Victorian classics. We have some very, very localized German um, books. The only thing that's missing on top of the left book case in particular is a cat bed for one of my cats who I can't actually jump up there. The other one is not quite so athletic. Isn't that true, Beetle? Isn't that true? You're not quite flexible. You're not quite strong enough to get onto that shelf. But that's okay. Not everyone's born to be an athlete. Okay, right, let's give you your privacy. However, my other cat can very much jump up there and I think it'd be nice for her to have a little space to escape to from the little brother. She's already got a cat scratcher on the top right shelf and up there we'll put a little comfortable bed for her to hang out. And there you have it. I really just wanted to make a video showing off my bookshelves and now I've done that. Thank you for watching. Bye.